Hello, my friends. My name is Gene Arnold, and thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Regular Guy Mountain Biking. So we are up here in New York State in the Lake George area. We're going to ride a place called Gurney, Gurney Lane, right? Yeah. And we're going to get our bikes and try Gurney Lane. This is just one of a few places we're going to give a try, and I'm pretty stoked. All right, so let's get the bikes out and get on these trails and see what they're all about. All right, after setting everything up, getting the cameras out, right, GoPros, getting the watches set up for tracking Strava, getting the Wahoo computer going, right, getting everything ready, we are good to go. All right, you are nature. It's beautiful in here. Yeah, it is. And uh, I can see it, well, obviously it's going to be very, very well marked, so... This isn't the kind of place you get lost in. No. It's only 152 acres. Oh, really? Yeah. Which, I believe they're working on expanding it as well. Uh-huh. So 152 acres. Going to expand it. Blue, green, yellow. All right. So we're going blue. So, folks, if you know this place, Gurney Lane, give me some comments down below. What trails do you usually take? Did, did we just miss one? What was that? Fat bike groom trail. Fat bike groom trail. Oh, that's awesome. So there we go. Winter time, we're coming back up here to Green Lane. So if you know these trails, right, Chef? Are we taking your trails? <laughs> All right. Tell me where you guys go when you ride Gurney Lane. Tell me where you guys go when you come up to Lake George. Um, um, okay, folks, we'll be right back when we find out where the hell we're going. Erratica. Now, cool. it's pointing... The opposite direction. Are these trails directional? I'm thinking this is the one that said, do not enter wrong way. Okay, so folks in the comments, tell me if we're being a knucklehead. <laughs> Are we going to continue to be a knucklehead? We'll continue to be a knucklehead. Oh, great. And it's on video? You know, I'm nearing like a million subscribers. Well, close. I've got 24,000. But still, this could be bad. Oh, damn. Should I even record this? Nice little switchbackers. Good way to get the legs warmed up, right? Yeah! Things are looking good. Oh, here we go, a black. Deal with it, baby! You yeah, really, it's just gonna be slick because it's so dry. Wow. You know? Luckily, the superior mountain bike skills that I've accrued over time are really starting to shine. <laughs> I love looking at the rocks with all the white marks where it's like, bottom bracket, bottom bracket, bottom bracket. All right, was that the black? The that was the black. You today? can't even pedal, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, damn. All right, we're heading up Excalibur now. So we'll see what this is like. Got some rockage. Little bitty baby rock garden. Hey, little baby rock garden. It's a little baby rock garden. Ah, oh, it's beautiful in here. Wow. It is very picturesque. Nice. All right, up we go. All right, buddy. You want to lead on? I hope I don't fall on camera. Well, that's why I'm going behind you. I get them thumbnails.
Sharp turn. Sharp turn. Tumblr. All right, we are climbing Twitter. All right, yep. Climbing up Twitter, and uh, we'll grab the trail network up at the uh, top of this. Apparently, Twitter is, is a loop, and we're taking part of the loop to head up top. So I will continue to twit. Okay, so now we're on Excalibur, which will take us back down where we just climbed on Twitter. And uh, we will see how this goes. The big thing about this place is the loose, well, because it's so dry right now, it's the loose material we're riding on, the loose dirt. It's actually very, very slick. You wouldn't think so. You wouldn't think, you know, when it's dry, oh, it's getting dark, it's gonna rain. You wouldn't think it's hot. Yeah, we just went to up this, yeah. You wouldn't think it would be slick. Yep. You wouldn't think a trail like this is actually, you know, tough. See, now, now we're good. We got a little bit of hero dirt going on here. But before, it was slick because of the dryness. So interesting. Different terrain. Our intersection, Alex Caliber. Yep, we're going, yep, straight, yep. And here comes the rain. We kind of needed some rain anyway. Get a little hero dirt. A little something, something. A little something, something, something. Oh, this is the, the baby rock garden. Right, okay. We should have done this roller. I'm sorry about that, Angelo. Yeah, on the bridge before it gets too slick. All right, you want to go left on the Rogue. Okay, left on the Rogue it is. All right, we're going back up to Rogue. In the rain! We didn't drive three plus hours to let a little rain stop us, right, Angelo? Yep. So setting up the tent is going to be a pain in the ass sickle. All right, so it's raining on Rogue, but it's not horrible. We kind of needed to cool down anyway. But there are a lot of roots here. So, not knowing the trails, just gonna be a little careful because that could really ruin the trip. Other than that, you know, nice place. Would be tricky to get a lot of miles in without literally just like riding like you're stoned or something and just going up and down and up and down and around and around. All right. All right, we're going down Rockbuster. I'm pretty sure you can't see anything right now. But if you can't see anything, guess what my glasses probably look like right now. So we're kind of biking by Braille. All right, if it looks like a big rock, I'm making a left or a right. Yeah, see that? So, there we go. That would have been a fun rock to ride over. Dang. All right, stay to the left. Yeah, stay to the left. I hit that a second time. Especially not, like, it's actually kind of like... Yeah, but I can't see anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pass all these great rocks. I can't even see a damn thing right now. Damn it. All right, we are back at it again. The rain seemed to stop. All right, we're gonna try to hit Tango and E20. So these apparently are some recommended trails. So uh, we're gonna give them a haul, give them a shot. So. Take E20 first. Okay, E20 it is. Here we go. E20. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah sort in the mud. Well, that was pretty cool. I'll change the battery after this. Should be enough in here to do a tango. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, that was horrible. All right. So it's the heat. All right, let's do it. It's the heat, man. I don't do well in the heat. Good. Oh, here's a roller. T -t 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 Tango. I think I like Tango better. I think I like Tango better too. It's got more stuff. Whoa. Got some mud. And that's it. That was the tango. All right, let's try Rockbuster without the rain. Nice! Rockbuster! Backbreaker. Uh, this is the one I passed up before because of the rain. A little easier to do when you can see. <laughs> Definitely a cute little trail.
There you go, buddy. You got it. All right, we're heading down Rogue now. Again, no rain. That rock buster or boulder buster, whatever the hell it's called, that was a that was a great trail. That was a lot of fun. Definitely one you want to just take your time on and do all the features. That was great. I'm glad we came back to do that because that would have been a bummer. This is a nice trail, a lot of nice flow on this one. And that was Rogue. All right, folks, that's gonna take care of Gurney Lane. Gurney Lane was pretty awesome, even with the rain, right? Yep, yep, it was very nice. Yeah, I'm glad we went back up. Gurney Lane. What was the rock one called again? Rock something. Rock so the rock one was awesome. <laughs> we missed it because of the rain, but we went back and hit it, and yep. it was well worth riding. All right, and then we're gonna be hitting another place tomorrow. Daniel's Road. Daniel's Road, okay? So Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking, and Angelo from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. What's up? And we'll catch you next video, bye-bye. Keep those parties on the pedals, bye.